สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone, welcome back to Banana Thai Channel with Crew Smoke or Teacher Smoke. And today topic is Q and A session. Ask me anything related to Thai language and Thai culture. I have already collected many questions from the Q and A pop up on my Instagram. So today I will be answering all these questions. So I hope this will be very useful and interesting for you. If you want to ask me questions like this, don't forget to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, Banana Thai School. All right, let's start. Rum k a n k a The first question is from Kun S G H S S underscore J I H S S. t h a t s from Instagram. And the question was, do most Thais can't pronounce R sound? Can we use the softer R if we can't? If you ask me whether R sound in Thai is R, and if you cannot roll your tongue. Of course, you can just use the l o l i n g l sound instead. Now, nah, because many times the Thai people also mispronounce because they are lazy. For example, ha, the word a r o y a r o y means delicious. So you can easily say a l o y So German people would have R sound like l, right? Come from here. But please don't do that when you use. Like when you want to pronounce something in Thai, because it would sound a little bit like k, k sound instead of r, r sound. For example, the word a r o y right? Don't say it like a r o y a r o y like this. No, it would more sound like a k o y a k o y for Thai. So you can just use the l sound like a l o y Next question is very interesting question. k u n n r i q h d d na. So the question is about writing. Ah, did we have like do we have to give a space for the maya m o k sign before and after the word? Ah, actually, na ha maya m o k na ha looks like this na ha, and this symbol na ha this symbol letter it used to double. The word, นะคะ For example, the word มากมากนะคะมากมาก Thai people like to double the word, นะ And when you double the word, you don't have to write the word มาก and another word มาก You can just use this มายยามกนะคะ behind to double the whole word, นะคะ Ah, and the, and uh, the question was whether we have to give A space before and after. Yes, officially, we have to give a space between a word and then space and then maya mo. Now, so it just look like this, mak ma or jing jing. But if there is another word in the end, like for example, if you want to say tang tang gan, ah tang tang gan means like differently, na tang tang gan. You have to put the space. Both in the front and in the back uh, and behind of the Maya m o k nah, so it look like this, tang tang gan. However, like in reality, Thai people also misuse it. Put the Maya m o k just right without space with the word that you want to emphasize and then space after that. But yes, yeah, so I already introduced you the correct one, the official one, and also the casual one. All right. Next question, ha. The question from Kun Lan Sian. What is the word for girlfriend and boyfriend in Thai? So in Thai language, we don't really separate it whether it's male or female partner or girlfriend or boyfriend. We just say like fan, fan, ah, uh, like a fan, you know, like a fan, n uh, Fan means boyfriend or girlfriend. For example, my boyfriend. Fan ของฉัน your boyfriend. Fan ของคุณ her boyfriend. Fan ของเขา The next question, ค่ะ question from คุณ Nark Narki point L, นะคะ What does you means at the end of the sentence? So the word you can be many things. You can be to live. Or to be located, or to be at some place, right? As a verb. However, if the word "you" is at the end of the sentence, it means present continuous tense. What you are doing right now, focusing on now. Nah, for example, ฉันทำงานอยู
ฉัน as I subject ทำงาน as to work verb and you at the end of the sentence นะคะ is a particle to tell that it's now so therefore ฉันทำงาน you means I am working ฉันกินข้าวอยู่ means I am eating อ่าฉันดูหนังอยู่ means I am watching a movie very easy you at the end of the sentence the next question ค่ะคุณ Danny กันนาวันอ่า92 so the question is Can you give some examples of the most used conjunction words, please? The word so, so or therefore. If you want to tell the result of the action, you use so or therefore. And in Thai, we say เลย l e ย But be careful with the word เลย You have to put subject come first, เลยแอนด์เวิร์For example, it rains. I therefore stay home. ฝนตกฉันเลยอยู่บ้าน As it rains, therefore I am home, right? But again, see, it's ฉันเลย So subject เลย plus verb. If you say เลยฉันอยู่บ้าน As so I am at home, it's wrong. The subject come first. And followed by เลย If you want to use the word เลย as so or therefore. The next question, ค่ะคูชาซิมนะคะครู after completing the course do you provide certificate also ah uh, so I think he mentioned about my online course นะ now I have two online course first one ค่ะ intensive Thai course นะคะ conversational Thai and another course ค่ะ ultimate guide to Thai reading to help you read Thai script นะคะ these are both courses นะคะ these courses นะคะ provide also certificate Only if you complete the course and if you pass the final exam. Ah, so you will be certified by Banana Thai, and I will provide you the certificate of the course completion. Yes, ka. Another question, ka. Very interesting cultural question. สวัสดีครูสมุก My question is why are most Thai people have Very long name and another nickname. Yes. So first, let's talk about name first. Our name is actually from Bali and Sanskrit. Nah, because we are in France. Nah, we have we receive the inference from India, from Hindu and then Buddhism, right? So therefore, our name is Bali and Sanskrit. For example, my name is. ปริยากรอ่าปริยากร The meaning of my name is mean the origin of love. Oh wow. <laughs> yes. So all of Thai people names um have a very beautiful meaning. นะคะ And then because our our name is so long, therefore we all have a nickname that is something short, cute, and quick to call. Mostly also have a meaning. For example, my name is. มุกนะคะสมุกออมมุกมุก means pearl next question ค่ะ from คุณ a dot m d zero seven the differences between the use of ค่ะ and ค่ะ uh, I think this one I already talked about it in the previous um, Q and A video นะคะ but again let me answer your question just shortly the word ค่ะค่ะ Falling tone with my a, นะคะ is used for statement or negative sentences. Why the word ka high tone without tone mark is used for question. For example, สบายดีไหมคะ See, it's a question. Therefore, the tone is high. นะคะ This word สบายดีไหมคะ And if you want to answer สบายดีคะ or ไม่สบายคะ See. So this is an example how to use ka and ka. นะคะ Next question ค่ะ from คุณ M Milin นะคะ I heard both men and women using the word ฉัน I thought it was for women. Please explain. So the word ฉันนะคะ is more commonly used with um for female because for ma uh for male speaker. You normally use the word p o m as a formal form. However, actually, the word t a n can be used for both gender. n a it can be used for both gender. But I think now the sense of the word t a n sounds a little bit more feminist. Therefore, for men or male speaker, 
they rather use the word ผม instead. Next question ค่ะคุณ nuclear s p u r h u n t นะคะถามข้อเดียว like I want to ask you one question. Kannst du auch Deutsch? Yeah, ich kann Deutsch. <laughs> Aber nicht so gut, also nicht mehr gut. Uh, uh, ich war eine Austauschschülerin in Deutschland, als ich 17 war. Aber es war also schon lange, right? Um, also ich kann es doch, aber uh, ich habe fast alle vergessen. <laughs> the next question is from Kun Miss Mohich. Nah, what's the difference between ni and ni? Ah, very good question. Nah, ha. the word ni with my a and the word ni with my t o e Ni falling tone. Nah, ha. ni nah, ha, is a pronoun. We actually call it demonstrative pronoun as this, this, or as a subject as a pronoun. For example, this is plant. นี่คือ let's say this is tree plants we say นี่คือต้นไม้นี่คือต้นไม้นะคะ because นี่ as this represents this plant นะคะ but then the word นี่นี่ high tone is an adjective used with a noun for example ต้นไม้นี้ which means this plant ต้นไม้นี้ This plant, me, this as a noun. ต้นไม้นี้ this plants, me as adjective. Next question, ค่ะ from คุณ call me Zandy. Ah, la the word la right when you use for the market the word la means per, per. For example, look, กิโลละยี่สิบบาท It means twenty baht per kilo. Ah, so you have to. Use like a, you have to switch a little bit, nah. So instead of saying 20 baht per kilo, you say kilo per 20 baht. Ah, that's why you say kilo la y i s i baht as 20 baht per kilo. Wow, it was amazing question. I love all of your question. Thank you so much for sharing with me and sharing with. You are Thai learner, Thai friends. So, if you want to ask me question like this, please follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Banana Thai School. Every Friday, I will set up nah a session like this, so you can just click on the pop up and type down your question. Again, ค่ะ If you need my personal assistant or further information about my learning Thai program and courses, please feel free to drop your email at. c r u s m o k at b a n a n a t h a i s c h o o l c o m Ah, see you later. See you next time. แล้วเจอกันนะคะบ๊ายบายค่ะ